Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Tool Show. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and we are in beautiful Liechtenstein. Yeah, those are actual real mountains. That's not like a painting, which is crazy. strange to us from people from Ohio. But anyways, we're here at Hilti in Switzerland. Technically, we're in Li it's Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein yeah. right now, but also in Switzerland. So we're covering a new event that they have, covering a whole bunch of new tools. But that content's not going to be ready by this Friday. No. So <laughs> for today's episode, we're going to be showing you a bunch of additional tools and solutions that we ran across at a Quip Expo yep. just last week. Hope you enjoy. So we're here with Ego, but we're here with Ego Commercial. So these are not solutions for your home, these are solutions for professional landscapers. And a big surprise for us this year, we're excited to see, was the whole new PGX charging system. Barnaby, that's a lot of batteries and a lot of chargers, but it looks like they're all chained together. How does this work? Well, you nailed it right on the head. The PGX is the power grid multiplied. That's the X, right? So it all starts right up here. This is gonna be what's called the hub. You plug this in and there is no rewiring of your garage or your tool shed or your pole barn. Runs off a 15 amp circuit and will charge up to 70 batteries overnight. So as you said, it's daisy chain, so it's modular. This is gonna provide the power to dock number one. Charges three batteries simultaneously. But let's say you have more battery charging needs, you buy dock number two. Daisy chain it in, and so it goes on down the way until you've got the wall of potential right here. What's great about it too is with our apps, you can keep track of whether or not it's actually charging. Like let's say there's a power outage. It's gonna sure. be like, eener, eener, eener. You know, there's <laughs> no work tomorrow. There's no juice going into the batteries. You can race down to the shop, figure out what the problem is, start up the generator, whatever. It will also, with the app, be able to, with the internet of things, diagnose the lifespan of the batteries, oh, no which kidding. is crazy. You think they're just batteries, but they are actually sent to receive, okay. or set to receive. So you will ask the question of it, how many charge cycles do you have left? So as a business owner, you're like, oh, okay, we have to start saving some money to for, reinvest. There you go, sure. Yep, so this is that. This is gonna give every crew the answer to the burning question of why to convert to battery power. The obstacle was always, how can I get enough juice to get out the door to get the job done? Gotcha. This is gonna give you the full power for the day. Very cool. But we also have remote charging possibilities. So you go that way, I go this way, and we'll see where she goes. All Ready? Right. Around the corner. This is a trailer that shows the future of commercial with Ego, setting the new standard because we've got the charging capabilities, we've got a full raft of commercial tools, and this is how it would look if you want the enclosed trailer. So what you can see is E-Track on the floor that you can lash the zero turns down on, E-Tracks on the wall, so you can set all the shelving. This is the PGX system right here, and this will probably handle three, six, nine, 12, 24 batteries, the potential is 70 overnight, and you simply plug this trailer in to a 15 amp hour circuit so there's no special wiring necessary. Roll call would be the 800 CFM blower. That is awesome. All of our carbon fiber tools, built tough, lightweight, and super powerful. This is the trailer that is gonna have all the commercial folks talking, including this is our brand new commercial walk behind. This is gonna give you 14 pounds of torque. It is the most powerful walk behind mower with a deck under 30 inches for commercial. Two hour runtime on the two 12 amp hour batteries, cast aluminum deck. It's just built to take a licking and keep on ticking. And here is the power bank. This is how you, when you get to the job site, one is stacked on top of the other at this point because it's hooked up for charging. But you take this one off, you pick it up, you pull it out, it's got a 40 amp hour high capacity battery here. This will charge up to 14 batteries, quote, on the fly in the field. So you have remote power, you've got power in the truck that uh, you're charging your batteries with, and all the tools you're ever gonna need to get the job done right. Because again, Ego, set the standard for commercial battery powered lawn equipment. All right, guys, so this was the biggest surprise from Ego at Equip 2023, I think so far. 
was, in, which again, we've mixed this before. We're big fans of the Z6 Zero Turn. It works wonderful, but this is a completely different beast altogether. This is your commercial Zero Turn, right? What can you tell me about it? Well, I can tell you that forget everything you know about the Ego Residential, because there's not one inch of this machine forgot all of it. that mimics Same. that. This is all white sheet engineering from Woo. the ground up. So you've got steel beams for support, heavy, heavy duty. You've got cushioned, suspended decks, so they don't rattle around. Brushless motors, obviously. As far as the seat goes, I know it's like you're not the money-making part of the tool, but that seat is off the hook. If you're going to be on it, though, making money all day, right. six days a week, you're going to want a comfortable seat. Well, that's what we did. We went to the users and said, what ills you? They go, my butt. My <laughs> butt ills me. And so look at this. Instead of just dialing in just rando numbers, there's weights there. So it's like, no how kidding. much do you weigh? So can I lie to that too? <laughs> Everybody does, <laughs> right? So there's that. You've got the usual screen that's going to give you yeah. all the facts and figures. On the back end of things, Holy this is God, what really sets us apart. Though. I know these are high capacity 40 watt batteries. They are portable because they have handles, oh obviously. Gosh. And this is a modular system. So you can start out with one battery, two battery, three battery. It will cut up to 14 acres on a single charge, right? 14? 14 acres. And what's great about it is with other battery powered commercial uh, riders, they will say it goes up to eight hours, right? On a single sure. charge, because it's a dedicated battery. There is no swapping them out. You're just buying a big tank of gas, figuratively speaking, sure. right? Yeah. So then what if you only mow three hours a day? You've bought all that extra energy potential and you're not using it. So with this, you determine how much you're gonna be using and buy accordingly. So you drive the cost of entry down. Okay. Right? So you say, if I only go three or four hours a day, I only need two batteries. Right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And so this will start out in the, we don't have a firm price on it, okay. but mid to upper teens, okay. which is pretty dang affordable for a machine like this. Well, this is a money printing machine as well. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. is, this is to save you money on maintenance, on gasoline, but also get large commercial jobs done. Oh, absolutely. And it's going to come Lovely. in three widths, right? Oh, what are they? So, let me tell you. Please. So, it's going to come in a, a 48, 48, a 54, okay. and a 60. Wow. I know. So, big, right? Yeah. And powerful, well-built. Everything that is Ego is in this machine. Reliability. Yeah, it's great. I'm excited. Well, yeah. great. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. As always, Barney. Ah, Thank you for joining us, man. Love seeing you. The oh, excitement yeah. you always share with us. We appreciate it. Ah. Awesome. So we want to learn more about this. Where do we go? EgoPowerPlus.com or just is. keep watching the tool show. Right. They'll get it straight sooner or later. That's a better idea than what I said before. <laughs> right. So what is this whole system on this trailer? Those well, look like the large batteries that we saw in the commercial zero, zero turn, right? Absolutely. Those are the high capacity. Uh, 40 amp hour batteries, and that's what's called the power bank. So we just wanted okay. to kind of show the potential for crews on the trailer, as what you're seeing here is, almost looks like a small generator in a cage, right? So that's portable, you pick it up, you bring it out into the field, you got the 40 amp hour high capacity battery, and that's gonna be kind of the deep well mothership for charging up to 14 to 15 batteries in the field. Wow. So let's say you're in a neighborhood, and you got a couple lawns you're gonna be cutting, and you got to go off and do something else. You leave these behind with the crew, okay. and they can just feed off of it, charge batteries when they're expended, and just keep working. That's pretty cool. So it's power on the go, because at the end of the day, with all we've talked about with commercial, it is setting the new standard. I mean, we are the leader in the battery space for residential, and now with the introduction of all of this, it's like game on. We're just going to the moon. Yeah. Anybody want to take a ride with us? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. And that's the sound of our 20-inch chainsaw. Got a couple crazy Canadians the, the working Canadian it. The Canadian carpenter. That's Tebow's right. back there playing Tebow with Tebow goes, yeah. I got a bunch of maple trees I want to cut down. <laughs> I'm not usually excited about Vax, okay? But something got me excited about this new map. First of all, never saw Ego making one. That really surprised me. Yeah. But third of all, it said that it has the power ratings that are on this thing are off the charts. Oh, yeah. More powerful than even the most powerful 18 volt powered vax that we've seen so far. That's a, it's a, not shocking. a fair fight, man. It's 56 volt versus yeah. 18. What do you expect? <laughs> right. Well, tell us about the new vac. Okay, so it is so convenient. I mean, we're talking to detailers, we're talking to homeowners. Do sure. not have a cord to be able to pull it along and then check it out to have a remote control. 
that comes in here. Oh, so cool. when you're in the car vacuuming, say, and your son is tapping you on the shoulder, <laughs> you don't have to like, get out from underneath the steering wheel, yeah. shut the machine off, turn it on, turn it off. And this is great. The remote control is also has a little LED light. And so for the crevice tool right here, the tunnel of light goes down here, oh. and then you can tell whether Look it's an M&M or it's Sarah's wedding ring. Oh, that's important. Right. You don't want to yeah. suck it up out of nowhere, right? So, onboard storage of hoses. Okay. I mean, look how neat that is, right? Yeah. And then, as far as everything goes, I mean, I know it never stays like this, right? You're always going to be looking around for <laughs> it stuff. Does, it does look brand new. Right. But it's all there for you. And then, Sarah, come on over here for a second. Dual port exhaust. Nah, that's actually the extension tubes. But again, everything is where oh, it needs to be. Oh, stored underneath. Look at that. Yeah. That's really clever. And... You know, there are pulsing backs, you know, to clean the filter. Yeah. Right? This one, you simply take the uh, attachment off here. Okay. You slap it on here so you've completed kind of a dead circuit. You hit this when it's on, and it reverses the flow, and it blows the dust off the filter and the bag inside. Oh, that's so you're getting a clean start. It's going to be about 110 cool. CFM of suck, 100 inch of lift. That's crazy. It is the tool everybody wants. Can't wait to try this thing out. That's awesome. All right. We also got to see a couple other new unusual products that I wasn't expecting from Ego. Really? They've got a pressure washer. Well, now you're excited about the vac, but not the pressure washer? I, I like the pressure washer. I'm excited about the vac because of the numbers. Yes. I like new products that outperform anything else I could possibly buy before. That's what this does. I don't know that about the pressure washer. So oh, it does. Sell me the pressure washer. Okay, well, of first all of all. people, Barnaby, you should be able to sell me the pressure washer. First of all, yes. this is the most requested tool in the Ego suggestion inbox. No kidding. For years, people have been going, hey, when are you guys coming well, out with a pressure a washer? Of, of battery powered solutions for pressure washers. Right. There's, there are plug ins and there are gas powered. Yes. And so, how does it that Ego was able to pull this off with batteries? Well, with uh, peak power technology. There it is. So, that's going to be two batteries side by side. Pulling the load, right? Is it running in 56 volt or in yes. a series? Of, okay, 56 it's volt. still 56 volt. Everything. So can I put one battery in there? Yes. No. It's kidding. not going to give you the full 3,500 psi. Oh. Ah. Ah, okay. because that's it demands the juice. But it check. does need it. Okay. Yeah. So look at that. This right here, super sellable item. This is going to be a siphon hose, right? So instead of a hose, awesome. you hook this up. So again, yeah. for detailers, if you don't have access to a hose, you do have access to five gallon buckets of, of water. Just Stuff it in. in and there you go. And check Very this cool. out. This guy. What's up with Dude, kids? The there. remote control. Oh, so you're out that. there 15, 20 feet with the non kink hose nice. with the easy slide quick connect. Well, of course I right. am. <laughs> yes. And then somebody goes, hey, you need to apply a little more power to get that stain off the driveway. You can dial it up, dial it down. I mean, why would you have to always go back to the machine? I like it. It doesn't make any sense. Of course not. Goes up to 3,500 PSI, so I could probably blow the beard right off your face. I'm sure you could. Yes. So, there you have it. Awesome. It's, it's so cool. That. And again, that's spring as well, right? Yeah, first quarter. And we do have the tips, right? So different um, force so you tips. Have soap and. Yep. And it'll awesome. give you a two gallons per minute rinse, and it's got the soap gun. It's two gallons per minute rinse? Yep, on the rinse. So I it's like a waterfall of water. See, there's That's a tech awesome. figure you can get behind. Well, for sure it is. Hey, you're all excited about the shop vac. No, figures mean everything. So have you ever uh, washed a car? Of course. Okay, with the soap cannon? I mean, this is Foam just... Foam guns, yeah. Yeah, it's just going to put the wall of soap on there. Now, my son's a detailer. Here's the hot tool, tool show tip. When you're washing your car, yeah. none of this. No, no. That scratches. It's right. always like this, up and down the hood. So there you have it. Available first quarter. No kidding. That's 2024. Awesome. Next, we're at the Hooey Man booth with my buddy John here. John, tell us about these cool looking spreaders. They're battery powered? Yeah, we have a, uh, both two battery operated spreaders and a manual with the same features. Okay. Uh, first is our, our, our Cadillac, which is the 24 volt spreader. Uh, this spreader is very easy to handle. It comes actually with a nice handle integrated into the system, uh, easy to load. You simply uh, twist off and on to drop your product in. And then also we have a sight window so you can see how much product is in the uh, spreader while you're using it. Uh, it simply mounts on your, your chest harness that um, comes with the uh, spreader, snaps in in a couple places. 
And we have a, a 24 volt rechargeable battery and charger that comes with it. Uh, how long would that battery keep us running? This is a three hour continuous run time. No kidding. Yeah, so you can really run several jobs on it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we were able to uh, activate the system with kind of a safety uh, trigger here to turn the uh, broadcast on. And then we actually have a oh, speed. adjustable feed rate. We have an adjustable speed. And that controls the width of what you're gonna spread as well as the drop. So this basically changes the orifice in the spreader as the product's running. So you can visually see how much you're dropping. That's awesome. Yeah. So it looks like, so we have a bigger one here that looks like you've got mounted on a quad, right? Yeah. This what is, makes this one different? This is going to launch in March. This okay. is our vehicle spreader. We call it that because it mounts to a two inch receiver. Oh, Any perfect. two inch receiver, which is on uh, all of your ATVs, UTVs, also several of the zero turn mowers yep. and other vehicles. Uh, this holds up to 135 pounds, lifetime guarantee with all of these products. Uh, you basically turn, turn it on here as you'd be looking back at the machine and you turn it on and we have a variable speed so we can spread out to 35 feet. One of the wow. cool features we have that others don't is our calibrated drop gate. So we can open it up or we can close it down based on the type of product. And that's a lot of cost savings to you to be able to drop exactly what you want. On the other side here is your actually your off and on. So we're open or we're closed, okay? We're not halfway to try to figure out how much we're dropping. We're gonna drop what's calibrated in the machine. So again, we're open or we're closed and it does lock so it won't change on you as you're running. Again, this launches in March. This retails for uh, $4.99. The chest spreader retails for $2.49. And one thing we didn't talk about is the manual chest spreader, which retails for $149. All the same features as the battery operated chest spreader, but with a manual option. Awesome. Well, thanks, John. How do we find out more information about Hooey Man? Uh, you can visit uh, American Outdoor Brands or hooeyman.com. Sounds good. Thanks, bud. Have that's, a great show. That's H-O-O-Y-M-A-N. Thanks, John. Thank you. So we were walking through the West Wing, and we saw this very empty space with two very cool robotic mowers on here. This is my buddy Mark from Sun Scout. Mark, tell us about this guy. I've never seen anything like this. Like, you've got solar panels coming out of it. Right. So yeah, this is a uh, first prototype of the Sun Scout Pro. Um, what's really neat about it, it doesn't require a perimeter wire around your yard anymore. Is it GPS? It's a it's fully GPS, RTK, um, so you can program it to do multi-lawns, uh, really wherever you want it to go. Uh, the, other, the other really cool thing about it, obviously it's solar powered. As you can see, it has its panels slid out at the moment. Yeah. So that would be the charging state. Um, and then the idea is once it's fully charged, the panels would slide back in and then it would just continue mowing, mowing around the area that you've, you've assigned it to. And this is not the type of robotic mower with the little razor blades underneath, right? This is an no. actual deck? This is an actual deck. It's a 16 inch uh, mower deck built into it. Um, now, and does that mean that, I mean, can you cut stripes with this or is this going to bounce around like... No, you can cut patterns with it. No uh, kidding. You can have the lines, you know, a lot of people like the line design on their, on their lawn so you can have that built into it. That's uh, awesome. So, yeah. So I, I also noticed, I guess if you've got your solar panels on wheels, can this direct, like aim at the sun or... It can. It has a solar tracking feature built into it. So oh, that's smart. As, the, um, as it's charging on the lawn, it'll actually track the sun and uh, figure out where the optimal optimal solar or solar access is coming from. That's smart. All right, so if I don't want this out in my yard for a party on Saturday, can I tell it to take a break? Yep, you could say, you can you can assign it when, you know, what times you want it to mow at. Yeah. Obviously, ideally during the day, that's when, when it's gonna be charging as well. Um, but if you want it done at certain times of the day, you can you can program that. that Very cool. As well. All right, so if we wanna learn more about the Sun Scout, where do we go? Sunscout.co.nz. Sounds that's good. That's the best way. Thanks, Thank Mark, you. nice to meet you. Have a you good show, too. man.
we stopped over in the Bobcat booth outside here at Equip 2023 because I saw the ZT, this is the 6100, but this is a special version of this thing. It's autonomous now to tell us all about it. I got my buddy Sawyer here. Sawyer, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So tell us all about this platform. First of all, just tell us about the mower. Awesome. So we'll start from the ground up. So this is based on our 6100 platform. Uh, but like you mentioned, this is autonomous. So we had to kind of redesign the core fundamentals of this mower to make it autonomous capable. So really that started us with us going and making this a joystick operated machine. So you will notice uh, two lap bars there. So one hand on the uh, controls and the other hand you can grab the grip. So a uh, different way to operate the mower, but very similar to some of our other products uh, within uh, our umbrella. Uh, but otherwise we have a display, uh, keypads that are similar to our loaders, uh, an electric actuator for the deck. So that really helps going up and down uh, without having to use any other pins. Yeah. Um, and really just making this capable of autonomy. Now you mentioned there's also a new app that has something to do with this mower. Correct, yes. Yeah. So we really need a platform to operate this mower autonomously. So we've developed an app that this is your this is your base station, this is where everything comes into. So Wait, you, you can control the mower from the app? Correct, this has a joystick on here, so you can connect <laughs> to the mower and just drive it around like you would like an RC car. No way. So yeah, you've got uh, quite the range. Um, but yeah, drive it around and then this is where you would configure your routes and then select which one you're gonna operate. So this is where it all comes Very back to. Very cool, oh, that's awesome. So there, give me that. Oh, that's great. That is amazing. So, so yeah. All right, so I gotta ask about this too, because we've seen a couple different autonomous mower systems like this. So is this the kind of thing where I'm gonna show up on a job, I'm going to kind of outline my path, show where I want this to go, yep. and then tell it to do the rest of the work while I go and do trimming and, you know, mowing smaller areas and that kind of stuff with smaller mowers and this just finishes the large areas for me? Correct, yeah. So we've got uh, our autonomous system here. It includes five radars, uh, three on the front and two on the back. Uh, and it, it utilizes GPS. So uh, we leverage correction services. And like you mentioned, you'll go around the perimeter and kind of mark out exactly what your bounds are. Yeah. You can go around and mark your objects to make sure like this is something that you a don't want. A tree wanna, or something you don't want to go too close to. Something that you know is known. And then from there, uh, you essentially press play and then it, it configures your path to do the best, most efficient path. And it mows all that while you can be maybe on another mower, you can be trimming, edging, other, other things around the job site. If I'm going out like this, I'm a one man program, I get it. Could I go out with three of these and tell two of them to start doing the job and then take a third one out? I mean, is it is it safe enough that one person can operate more than one of these? Sure, so so right now we're only doing one mower for uh, an operator, but you know, we're, we're looking to expand it to where you can have two, three, you know, a, a good number of it on on the job site. So we're starting with one for right now, but our intentions are definitely to get to that swarm, maybe is the right word for it. Absolutely amazing, I can't wait to see that. All right, so is this guy available now? So right now we're still uh, still developing. Okay. Um, and we're gonna be getting some pilots out into the field here very soon. Very and cool. So I would say in the beginning of 2024, you should start to see more of these out in the field. Great. If I wanna learn more about it, where do I go? Uh, Bobcat.com. Sounds good. Thanks okay. so much, Sawyer. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. Have a good show. Thank you. All right, we're on to Sarah's favorite part of our tour of the steel booth, the cutty cutties, the chainsaws. This guy looks ridiculously powerful and big. Tell us about it. All right, there are a few things we need to remember about the MSA 300. First is it is comparable to our gas farm boss. So the wow. MS 271, that beautiful unit that everybody loves, yeah. this is the battery version of that unit. It can run up to a 20 inch guide bar and runs 325. It also has a very interesting HMI. On that HMI, we have a sensor for oil levels. We also have a sensor for power and whether or not your chain brake is on. So it gives the user a lot of additional information that they can use while they're running throughout the day. In order to get the full power out of this, we have to use our AP500S, which uses our proprietary power laminate technology. It's exciting to see Steel come out with so many new battery products. We're excited to see what else is coming next. Oh, we've got a lot of innovation coming, both on the gas and the battery side. We are looking forward to continuing to be 
the leader in both gas and battery innovation. Very cool. Paul, thanks so much. Thank Super you nice for visiting. to meet you. Pleasure. All right, guys, let's head on to the next one. All right, Jess, you said you also have a brand new inverter here today, right? We do, we do. So you've seen our traditional inverters, whether a dedicated unit off 40 and 18. What? Yeah, Obviously, sure. we were missing the opportunity to utilize the, the 80 volt. volt. Yeah. So what's cool about this one is you can connect it directly to the battery like you see here, but you can also plug directly into your ZTR. Which already has tractor, the batteries inside. Has the batteries inside, so you, you can utilize up to three 80 volt batteries by plugging in there. So in a situation where you run out of power at the house, you used a bank of batteries that you have sitting in your garage to power your essentials. Very cool. Oh, I love that. When's that guy gonna be available? It should be available around December. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Our last stop in the real movie is over here with my buddy Ryan, who has the legendary at this point new kinetic log splitter from Ryobi. We got our chance to play with this a little bit back at our studio. Tell us why this is so important. Yeah, Robert, thank you. The world's first kinetic log splitter that's completely cordless, yeah. backed by 12 tons of splitting force with about a two second idle time. So compared to most hydraulic units in the market, we're talking 10 times faster. 150 splits on average with the included four amp hour battery as well. All right, so enough of my talk, and let's let the machine let's do the work, work, shall yeah. we? From an operation standpoint, it's as easy. Pushing on the safety release, pulling back. That's how it's done. That's awesome. And it'll, it'll, the, the, the actual wheel's gonna keep spinning until we turn it off. It will, right? yeah. So the flywheel within there is what's gonna build up the force behind it. Look at that. It makes it look so easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. When you remove the gas, you're able to actually use those transport handles for not only for transport, for upright storage as well. Really no eliminate, yeah. Makes awesome. it a lot uh, around the shop a lot easier. So big wheels on it, it's pretty easy to move? Very easy to move. Can I try it? You more, more than welcome to, go right ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me a second. Where's, where's he going? Some of our newest products here, this is our 525i series powerhead. Uh, so we just released this earlier this year. Uh, right here we have our trimmer. These are all attachments then? No, these are all dedicated well, they units. They are dedicated. Correct. They so just have the same power They head. use the same power head, gotcha. but they're all dedicated sense. units. We actually have the combi units over there, which I can get to. Okay. Um, but right here we have the string trimmer, straight shaft edger, curved shaft edger. What size is the cut swap? So the cut swath on that is over 18 inches. Um, so one of the largest in the industry. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we know some people like to just take the guards off realistically, yeah. but the gearbox is set up to give you a large cutting swath without Very any cool. troubles at all. Awesome. Uh, and what's great about this, 25cc equivalent, okay. through 25cc equivalent and, yeah. and battery, this runs at about 1.35 horsepower. So actually the horsepower is actually greater than a lot of 25cc gas units. Um, and then this really curved shaft straight shaft it's really just where you are in your area straight shaft edgers run at lower rpms but are better for thicker higher clay content soils okay. where curve shaft runs at a faster rpm but uh is more suited for lighter soils lighter stuff like that where you can get through so if you're in south carolina where i am with a lot of clay yeah. you probably want to use a straight shaft edger. makes sense uh, and then moving on to our charging rails. So we just oh, released this that. mid this year. So what this is, is an aluminum rail with eight of our 40C80 chargers mounted on here. So there's mounting holes 32 inches apart, so it'll fit on a US stud, 16 Perfect. inches. Yep. Um, there's a now also an eight to one cable connection down here. So all of these chargers plug into one outlet. You don't need eight different outlets. And it's specifically designed to run under your circuit limit. So max okay. amps you'll pull is 13.6. So you can run it on a 20 amp yep. or a 15 amp circuit. Nice. Uh, now is it gonna charge them sequentially? Correct. So okay. it is a parallel, no, sorry, parallel. So not sequentially. Uh, so oh. it charges these all at the same time. No kidding. Yep, so uh, BLI 300 is our largest handheld batteries. It's about a four and a half hour charge time. It's meant for overnight charging. Yeah, sure. What, what's beneficial about that is because it's such low power, it's low heat. And so with less heat, we don't have to have active cooling. And because much less heat, it's actually healthier on the batteries overall. So you can get lar lo longer battery life uh, by using the, this charger here. Very so. cool. Uh, and then we'll move on. This is a combi tool using the same 525i yeah. power head. Uh, we just have a reciprocator gear and an edger here, but we have 16 overall attachments. So basically any application you would, you know, any application you need, we have a solution for it in the combi tool. So same thing here, 1.35 horsepower. Um, so really powerful tools, uh, lots of different attachments to go with it. Very cool. Then moving on, 
This is our 535i brush cutter, uh, 535i FR brush cutter. Uh, you can actually also use it as a trimmer or a clearing saw. So this is a 35cc equivalent, uh, bike handle, extremely, extremely powerful, but still has great runtime and very well balanced, doesn't feel heavy at all, very lightweight. So great tool um, if you're having to clear thick brushes or anything like that. Awesome. And then we'll move on. So this is our telescopic articulating hedge trimmer. So it telescopes up to about 11 and a half feet. Wow. And it also articulates in both directions. So you can adjust it for basically any of your needs. About a 25cc equivalent on that as well. This is a slightly older power head, so different user interface, but uh, still a great tool and one of our most popular out there because people really love the telescopic poles. Yeah. Um, and then our 522 IHD 60. So this is a product improvement over the last 520 IHD 60. Uh, just a direct hedge trimmer, uh, more powerful, be better user interface. You can adjust the handle. Um, so it's a great little tool uh, for any of your hedge trimming needs out there. And then, and then five, that is a very tall pull saw. It sure is. So this uh, extends to 157 and a half inches, so over 13 feet. Uh, so with somebody, you know, you know, your height, my height, you can sure. get almost, you know, 18 feet of reach yeah, on this easily. thing. Uh, wow. It is a 30 cc equivalent, 10 inch bar, totally encapsulated motor up there. So you do not need an additional no protective housing. One other, just quick thing to note. We do a left side bar placement where most other people do right side bar placement. Why is that? Because if you think about it, you're using this tool, you're, yeah. most people are right handed. Of so course. you're going to stand on the side. Yep. So you're going to stand on the left side of the oh. tool. And if you look up, you get a much better view of what I you're bet. cutting. Oh, that's awesome. Also, without the protective housing, you get much more bar actually in there. So a bigger cutting uh, swath, however you want to saw it, cut capacity. So very cool. Yep. OK, guys, I stopped walking past this booth because I've never seen anything like this. Look down close. It's called the path maker it's actually got a chainsaw blade wrapped around the front luckily i've got zach here to introduce us to it zach so nice to meet you hey, tell you. us about this thing so basically it's a brush cutter it's chain driven like you were saying um it's meant to to fill a void between a big bush hog that you got to walk behind that's heavy bulky you can't get yeah. in um, this is maneuverable it's 40 pounds so you can lift it up wow um, carry it with you it'll cut flush with the ground uh, it's really good for bamboo, uh, trees, stumps, anything you're trying to take out flush with the ground if you're making a walking trail, hunting trail, you know, anything like that. So this is going to clear out brush. You can actually run this through trees then? Yes. Yeah, we'll take out trees, vines, bushes, shrubs, thick grass. I mean, anything you put in front of it. No kidding. Yeah. 40 pounds, you said? 40 pounds. That's yeah, incredibly can... light. I'll be darned. Yeah. And it, the chain's got to be oiled, right? Is that the, the reservoir is right there? Automatic oiler right here. It comes out inside the bar, so it's not going to get gummed up when you're going through thick stuff. No kidding. Yeah. Just brilliant. All right, man. So how much does this cost? $4.99 for the show. They are $6.49 regular price. So we're offering 150 bucks off. Very cool. At, for the duration of the show. It's on yeah. the website as well. All right. So yeah, speaking of, where can we find more information? Yes. Uh, PathmakerLLC.com is our website. It's got all the info. It's got additional videos. It's got the whole store online. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool product, Zach. Thanks Thank for your time, you. bud. Appreciate yeah, it. Have a good show. Makita also has a brand new inverter. I'm super excited about this too, but we got the backpack battery on top. Oh yeah, we're always we're always trying to utilize the tools that we already have out in the market. Sure. So this utilizes the 1200 watt hour uh, PDC 1200, and it has two AC ports, four USB ports, both USB A and U USB C, Thank you and for that. the 12 volt uh, DC charger as well. Oh, perfect. That should do it for this week. I'm going to go ahead and thank our sponsors, Spider, Flex, Block Ladder, and Ohio Power Tool for supporting our show and our community of tool fans that watch. Yeah, and a big thanks to Hilti for bringing Sarah and I to the other side of the world, to this beautiful location, to see a bunch of cool new tools. Be sure to catch the show next Friday. You won't want to miss it. All right, guys, go and do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week. But they're really real. They're like actually real. real. Those are real mountains. I don't believe you. Yeah. Maybe they paint them. I don't know. Okay.